Hey guys, long time no see. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I wanted to do a handbag collection. Um, I do get asked whenever I do a, a bag unveiling or if I show a bag on like Instagram back when I used to go out um, or even in some of my old handbag unboxings, I've been asked to do a collection video and I actually really enjoy watching collection videos so I figured why not film my own. I will say I have a lot of bags. Um, it's what I love. It's what I like to collect. Um, I work hard, so if you are someone who does not like luxury items, if you do not like pricier things, if you find handbag collections or material possessions to be excessive, I would just close out now. <laughs> um, you are entitled to your opinion, but that doesn't mean I have to listen to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yes, I, I know that there's a lot of bags here, so I want to jump right into it. And before I even show you the full collection, I want to show you a new item in my collection. I'm kind of a psychopath. Mm. At the start of uh, quarantine or coronavirus, um, back when I thought that <laughs> summer would be ready and done and this whole thing, we would have been laughing at coronavirus, yet here we are. Um, but back then, <laughs> I made a bag purchase and it was somewhat impulsive and I blame Mariana Hewitt, who I love, I love her style, I like her aesthetic. Um, I've been able to meet her in person and she's such a sweetheart, but she posted this off-white bag on her Instagram and I just went to add it to like my wish list, uh, like my pin board, my shop tagger board, um, just so I can, you know, have it as like a nice to have. However, um, a few days later, I was still thinking about it and I ended up going on Farfetch, which is my new favorite website, by the way. It is insane how, how many discounts they offer on like an ongoing basis and even new season, new stock items tend to go on sale. So Farfetch has quickly become my favorite place, but um, I was on Farfetch just browsing and I saw that the bag is from Off-White. Um, this was obviously purchased before Virgil showed his ass on Instagram, but you know, I'm forgiving, I'm forgetting. He's apologized. He seems like one of those people that are just socially awkward, whatever. Anyways, net net, the bag ends up going on sale. It retails for like $8.40, I wanna say, which is why I was like, mm, not buying it. And then, randomly on Farfetch, it was like 60% off. So I got kind of nervous, but I bit the bullet anyway. And then, ooh, ooh, also if you're shopping on Farfetch, <laughs> if you're shopping on Farfetch, check out some of your favorite luxury fashion influencers because they tend to have a promo code um, for like 10% off. So Victoria from In The Fro tends to have one, Chase Ami, I believe Janae from Hilo Lux, Brown Girls, you got you got support. Um, anyways, I bought this using a 10% off code um, and it is an off-white tote bag. Um, it has two handles, uh, or yeah, it has a short handle strap and then a longer handle strap. So I, handle strap, handle strap, whatever. <laughs> I bought this because I wanted something slouchy. I wanted something big. Um, I wanted a more quote unquote travel bag. Again, I thought I was going to be traveling hardy, har, har, jokes on me. Um, but I had plans to go to Europe this summer and I love the Chanel Deauville or the Dior book tote, but I don't love those prices. I refuse to pay like two grand to six grand for a tote bag, especially if it's canvas or can um, you know, a material that gets dirty, anything that's not leather. Um, I don't, I don't believe in spending that much for a bag. So when I saw this, this is just the perfect like accompanying carry-on item. You can just shove a ton in here, um, but at the same time still wear it if you are going on like a true like I want to say beachy type of destination. It will work in multiple occasions. Um, I can still see myself or I will still see myself carrying this throughout the summer. Um, I have been wearing it to the park because I've been doing my little social distance picnics when I need to leave this apartment of mine. 
yeah, that's my newest baby. Shout out to Farfetch for always having new stuff on sale. The next bags in my collection you guys would have seen if you watched my latest video. Um, I don't know why I'm acting like as if I filmed so many videos and I can't remember. It's the most recent video on my channel. <laughs> um, this is the Marc Jacobs snapshot. I still have the little tag on it because, again, not going anywhere. I bought this before COVID, but like right as things were about to pop off, I believe, on, um, this was from Shopbop. So I don't know why I said Farfetch. I think it's because this bag. This is from Shopbop. Yeah, because I used a gift card. Um, but I absolutely love, this is a very small crossbody. I'm probably going to start just wearing it out again. Um, I was kind of like saving it for a special moment, but special moments have been canceled in 2020. The next bag is by Jacques Mousse. This is my speaking of Farfetch bag. Um, I also bought this off of Farfetch. Um, I do have a video on unveiling it. Um, I have also been wearing this a lot to the park if I'm meeting my friends up for like a little picnic because it's just so summery. Um, it is a basket bag so you have some of like the little threads here popping out but it holds up very well. I did have to shove it, shove it? I did have to stuff it. I just have all of my head wraps. <laughs> I ran out of tissue. Um, so I have all of my head wraps in here and I find that, and I tied it with a ribbon up here because the strap is leather and this is a um, basket weaving bag. Um, I found that it was like flopping and it was like kind of losing its shape and I was nervous that this would kind of just cave around. Um, so that's just something to think about if you are purchasing one of these more designer basket bags. Oh, hey. So now let's start with the bag that started it all for me. The first bag that I bought with like my hard earned money was from Nordstrom and it was like a communal effort. One of my good friends, Sarah Conley, we used to work together and she, I'm pretty sure she set like a Google alerts for this bag for me and she let me know when it was like on sale. I bit the bullet, I bought it. It is the Alexander Wang Emile. Yes, so this is the Alexander Wang Emil tote bag. This is in the large size. It was the first size that they had done um, when they were releasing this bag. And when I tell you I fell in love with this bag when it was on the runway, I saw it in February. I knew it had to be mine, and so I bought it for my birthday in December, around the December time period, so when they were having the holiday sales. Um, and that is really what started my tradition of buying a designer handbag for my birthday. Yeah, I would save all year for it and I fell in love with this bag so, so much that I ended up buying it. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. Something to learn about me is if I like, um, if I like a bag, it, you will, it will be repeated. So that I'm just going to preface that right now. When I like something, I buy it in multiples. I can say that with shoes, clothing, food. <laughs> Uh, if I like something, I will just buy it in different colorways just so I can have a little versatility. Anyways, I then bought it in this beautiful, uh, like, taupey color. I did a blog post about it. Um, I'm a big fan of gold or rose gold hardware, so m most of my bag, I want to say 80% of my bag, have rose gold hardware or some sort of gold. So I bought it in this taupe color, um, and then... Again, psychopath. And then I bought it in a black because everyone needs a black bag, right? So these tend to be at work or at work. These tend to be the bag that I carry for work. Um, depending on the outfit, it was like my very business y but edgy <laughs> kind of style. And then I got the mini Emil tote bag. So this is truly my everyday bag. I wear this all the time. This is always in my bedroom. It fits so, so much. Alexander Wang was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite designers. So that's why I bought all of these in different colorways. This one is like black but with silver, so it was justified in my mind. Um, and also, I bought these during the Alexander Wang sample sales. So if you live in New York, hot tip, don't buy anything full price get them at the sample sales. 
that's what I did when I got all of these and that's why I bought so many of them so these bags used to retail I think for around eight or nine hundred dollars it was just under a thousand dollars I got this one for like maybe a hundred um, and then the other two for 150 and here we are and then they discontinued the style so something about me is that like I'm not good with like buying bags that won't get discontinued it's like a makeup if I like it it will get discontinued so but I also don't shop my collection with the intention with the intent of reselling if I like something I hold on to them and you'll see that throughout this entire video sticking with the Alexander Wang theme here again I told you Wang was my favorite designer back between like when he first came out up until 2013 ish maybe 2014 2015 um, this is the Alexander Wang I want to say this is the Rocky which is a smaller version of the Rocco pink is my neutral um, it's like my version of a black or a white so when I saw this I had to get it it is extremely heavy on its own because of all of the hardware so it's it's heavy um, and so I try not to stuff it which is hard because this bag can actually hold a lot so okay so speaking of a buying things in in different colorways if I like it and sample sales also way of life um, the next two bags in my collection are by Mansur Gabriel Gabriel I never know how to pronounce it Mansur Gabriel they are popular because they had that bucket bag style that was like sold out everywhere um, and then the price immediately hiked so I decided to wait until a sample sale and I finally got into that sample sale took forever but this is the Mansur Gabriel bucket bag it is a very stiff leather um, it does have like some light scratching but nothing too deep um, and it has a pink interior so I don't know how I feel about this so many people love it I just felt like it's so stiff and everyone kept keeps telling me or kept on telling me that um, it will loosen up over time but I just found it to be so difficult to navigate but it's not something that I reach for all the time um, yeah but one that I did reach for all the time and it shows is the smaller pink version and it's not showing up a ton on camera but this has um, unfortunately it was a victim of color transfer I took this with me last year to Italy I want to say yeah and um, I had it just crossbody and I also had tied around my waist a dark navy sweater um, and the sweater rubbed all over it and I did not realize until I got back into my hotel room um, I may or may not have shed a few tears but this, so this I think is the last set of repetitive bags that I have in my collection um, and it is the Philip Lim Pashley um, so the first size that I bought was this big green one again I want to say I purchased this off of shop bop maybe or Nordstrom can't remember um, but this was the first one that I purchased and this was around the time when the bag was fresh on the market so this is an old size they discontinued this size very quickly again similar to my Alexander Wang story I was an early adopter and then they went and like made it smaller because people were probably like this is way too big so this used to be my travel bag like my carry-on so I would have my little roller and then this would be my one extra bag because it's so huge so I really liked this bag um, however it was a little too big for like everyday use because listen I'm only 120 pounds I can't carry that much okay so when I saw this on Shopbop this was Shopbop I again used a voucher for it I knew I needed it in my life. I'm pretty sure I did a video of this one. I did because people to this day will still watch this unboxing and ask me if this color is still available. Um, I don't know. You would have to search. I by two different designers, but they're similar in style. This one is my Gucci Soho Disco. Um, I mean, name a person on the internet who doesn't have this bag. Another bag that I brought, brought? Another bag that I bought abroad. <laughs> This is my off-white tote 
no <laughs> this is my off-white crossbody I forget the name of it um, I'm pretty sure I did a video unboxing this one um, I bought this in Paris uh, I want to say at Galerie Lafayette um, because it was oddly cheaper even though it is an American brand um, this was also before they started raising the prices of this bag now I see the price of this bag in the US online and I'm like you are high bag um, is a little cutie um, I bought this here in the US from shop off it's a brand called LMA LME um, it is a French brand and I was heavily inspired by Karen Olsen from Paris in four months um, at one point she was using or wearing this style all the time and she is just such a cute little bag um, I like her for just like throwing across it does have a strap um, a crossbody strap um, I just like her for when I'm like running out and I want something cute and feminine it looks so cute with um, kind of like a little you know slip dress um, or one of those like realization par dresses I'm kind of doing my one-off bags now <laughs> like if I don't have a full collection I'm gonna get to the full collections soon I guess whatever the next bag is by Nanushka this is a two-in-one so it has a strap so it can be a crossbody and then it has another strap that you just um, put in throughout here and it's for your waist so become like a bum bag back to the more colecciones the next designer is one of my favorite designers um, I it's Chloe I love Chloe I've been a big fan of Chloe for years um, you can check my blog if you don't believe me um, but the where should I even start so the first one the first Chloe bag that I bought um, again Europe <laughs> I was in Europe a lot last year therefore I bought a lot of bags last year crazy but I'm glad I did <laughs> um, so this is the Chloe test bag again another pink bag oh it matches my headband or my hair wrap uh, this is the Chloe test I saw her on the runway fell in love I made it my this is gonna be my birthday bag but when I saw it in Europe I had to get it because it was at the time I want to say like 1300 or 1200 euro in the US um, a we were slow in getting some of these colors so this color never made its way to the US um, and B in the US it was selling for 1800 US dollars for the small size and just last night I was on Farbesh and it's now going for like 2300 for this same size which is mind-blowing so I'm so happy I bought it when I did again I got my tax money back so win-win for me this <laughs> This is the tote bag. I think it's like the Vicky tote. I think this is the Vicky tote. I got her at a steep discount. Again, I don't like to pay full price, y'all. I really don't. Um, I got this bag during the Barney's Warehouse closeout sale. So, RIP Barney's. They went bankrupt um, and they were closing their New York stores. And as a result, all of the entire store went on discount. And I would just go every week once a week because I worked right uh, like two blocks away from there so on my way home I would just pop in see what the girls are doing um, and the, the prices would go down slowly but surely in the beginning they were offering like 10% off and I was like fuck yourself um, and then finally when it really came down to it they just started like doing deep deep discounts so I got this one 60% off so when I saw that one I was like hallelujah got that one for like 60% off from the Barney's Warehouse sale and then in end of December January end of December because it was before my trip um, I went back just to see again what the girls were doing um, and oh, this is the Chloe C bag um, again I saw this on the runway and I just loved how ladylike and feminine it is this is a really pretty they called it gray, but it is a like bluish gray color. It does have a shoulder strap and then a crossbody strap. I like this because it it's just sleek. Uh, again, I hate to say the word feminine over and over, but it was just simple but cute. You can wear it with like jeans and a shirt or with a dress. I did bring this with me on my trip. 
and I felt hella elevated and cute and posh as fuck. Um, the bag that I bought at the Barney's Warehouse sale when it was closing, this actually was, I think, a day or two before they actually closed. That one was back in December. This was after my trip. Um, and when, if I keep saying my trip, it's like the last time I was abroad, COVID. Um, but this is... Um, this is the Celine mini luggage. I love Celine. Old Celine, but I love the Celine luggage bag, okay? I had wanted it for years. Um, I did not want to spend the kind of money for it. And I just, it's always just been one of those bags on my wish list. There was a bag a couple of years ago, the medium sized bag in like a beautiful, pale pinkish like not even pale pink like a bubble gum pink color that I still think about to this day and this one was a completely unplanned purchase I walked into Barney's because I was bored and I had nothing else to do um and I was just browsing and then I saw this whole line forming and I walked up to the security guard I was like what's going on here and they're like oh it's like extra on top of extra sale over here so he's like just get in the line if you just want to take a look so I get in the line and I walk in and it's Celine and it's the this section was for the designers that didn't want to go on sale but they had to go on sale anyway because the store was closing um so it wasn't as heavily advertised that they were on sale so I'm like walking about this like little tiny room like area of the store and I see three of these three and the price on it said 800 and I was like what this bag retails for twenty three hundred dollars twenty three hundred doll hairs okay and so I picked it up the first bag that I picked it up it didn't have the strap on it the second bag had um, a scratch and then like Goldilocks I saw her and so I picked her up um, she didn't have a dust bag and I walked up to the girl and I was like hey can I just take one of the dust bags from this one if I want to purchase it and she's like yes of course do you want to, do you want me to ring you up? So I just asked, how much is it? I think it's, because I saw 820. She goes, yeah, it's, this is the ticketed price. And it was like 40 off of the ticketed price plus an extra 10 or 20% off. Duh. Of course. I just handed her my credit card. I was like, don't even tell me how much it costs. I want this bag. Okay, I think I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, let's take a break and I will come back for a part two. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss the part two and any other of my videos. That was in English, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Bye guys.